Hedge Hedge Tube Dwellers, and welcome to another Mad Bag Gamer Commentary. I have a special treat for you. I'm going to do the next part of my regular walkthrough, the next uh, half an hour to an hour of content, in Nightmare on my Demon Hunter. And uh, since I missed this fight in the Vault of the sa uh, in the Vault of the Assassin for the Blood of Zoltan Kool, when I came through here on my Barbarian, I figure uh, I'll do it again. This time on my archer. This time in Nightmare. And you guys will see exactly how easy this fight was. Looks like he's got a mortar effect. So I'm just going to start strafing here a little, and down he goes. Pretty quickly and easily. Now, uh, one thing I will note about doing the walkthrough bits on my Demon Hunter, I normally focus kind of on lore. I, uh, I Any journals that I find, I let it play. I listen to new monster. Uh, lore and just everything. Uh, there won't be so much opportunity for that on my Demon Hunter because any journals that I've found before I cannot find again. Uh, you just saw me pop open a satchel. There's nothing in the satchels if I've already found the book and clicked on it. So you guys may miss out on some lore, however hopefully I will make up for that by showing you super epic nightmare battles. <laughs> I, am many things, I will run down but I am some of my liar. stuff here in just With a second. Um, gear is getting quite archives. important, and I'm getting to some interesting bits of gear, so I might even touch on some of that. Um, and this brings us to right where you saw I the barbarian. I all of this for my research Keep off. and my experiments. Yeah, that's right. You and your creepy experiments. Soul stones, a complicated creation. I sacrificed much to make it. Like your whole body? <laughs> Freaking creeper. Uh, apologies for the short clip there. I actually had to log and do a couple things for continuing this. So I plan to try to squeeze into I this video like the, look of this the run from here to Belial. And if I can, do a defeat of Belial, get him put away, and, uh, and then end the video there. So that means I'm going to have to chop quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and show you the basically the introduction of this video and dialogue. What are you doing here? Good. Everyone's together. I came to tell you that I have found Bilal and I'm ready to lead you to him. Then the Lord of Lies will fall as soon as we recover the Black Soul Stone. All well and good. But first, I will be made whole. We're ready to do our part. Just you remember yours. Hmm, creepy. We'll have to get uh, Mr. Kuhl back into working order. Beyond these portals lie two relics that were once powered by my blood. Take the vials you recovered and use them to activate the relics. I will stay here and prepare the ritual. Be careful. Alright, so apparently... Unknown Depths, Shadow Lock, and Storm Halls. Apparently we've got a couple more dungeons to delve into before Mr. Cool can be made whole. And I am gonna start the chop in here. I'll see you when there's something interesting. Oh, Come hold on. Now. What is you this? Must be impressed by all this. Where have you been that could compare? <laughs> I have looked upon hell itself in my nightmares. There is little that moves me now. Oh. Well then. Oh, well then. Yeah, you're not so impressive, cool. How do you like that? So, uh, these sand barriers stop projectiles. You can see my arrows don't go through it. So anytime there's one of those sand barriers, sometimes you just gotta kinda bull rush through, get past your enemies, and then carry on. Ah, the first hero comes out soon. Let's get this party started. Come on through, guys. Come on through. Oh, uh, the Templar's gonna hold him on that side. That's not cool. I can still get some damage done over there. I just gotta do it in kind of a weird way. Oh, a Waller. This could be bad. Knockback, too. Get out of there. Luckily, his minions dropped plenty of health globes for me. Down he goes. Okay, so before I chop this, there's one other thing I just now thought about that I kind of need to do. Uh, other than reveal some items and check them out. Um, 
take a peek at my gear. In the last three levels, I have literally doubled my overall damage. That's insane. No 2,000. Woo! I am level 42. That is a great amount. Um, nothing's real interesting here. The yellows that I have are kind of old yellows. Um, that one's a fairly new one. A lot of vitality, really. That 6 to 12 damage is actually a lot as compared to dexterity counts. I want to say that's probably the equivalent of about 50 or so dexterity, 6 to 12 damage. Maybe even more dexterity. Um, the bow really is the most notable part. I got this real recently, and it's a blue, so it doesn't look all that impressive, but 125 damage is huge. Just to give you an idea, I recently found this yellow, and this is a really good required level 36 item that does 70 damage. This thing does 125. That is a huge number. That is enormous. And that's a big part of where this damage comes from. And then also remember my passive, Archery, gives me 15% increased damage to bows. So that helps jump this number up quite a bit too to make it the gargantuan number it is. Um, not having a emerald socketed in my weapon though and not having the part of Archery that increases my critical damage that I had with crossbows um, my critical damage is only 65% extra damage whenever I critical, so the numbers aren't, you know, I, I think I saw bigger numbers using a crossbow, especially with an emerald in it, because uh, emeralds in your weapon increase uh, critical hit chance. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not chance, damage. So the damage isn't quite so big on, on critical hits, however, it's really big just in general, so that's fantastic. A few things have changed on my abilities, too. Um, I got a new rune for Reign of Vengeance, but I'm still using Dark Cloud. The other rune is really interesting. It makes these, they're like shadow birds or something, fly above you and drop bombs. The bombs do more damage, however, it doesn't seem to seek targets, so it's really unreliable. This Dark Cloud, it's a really condensed set of arrows, and they seek targets, and that is awesome. Uh, I got a new cluster arrow rune that I'm now using, Maelstrom. It does slightly less AoE damage than sh the, the Shooting Stars version of Cluster Arrow. However, it has a uh, life drain component, which I've found to be just absolutely life-saving. Uh, and then I think, oh no, new Hungering Arrow, that's right. Uh, devouring Arrow. So each time the arrow pierces, it adds 70% damage to the arrow. Now, right off the bat, that seems like it's less single target damage than Cinder Arrow. And uh, this is kind of my most reliable single target because Rapid Fire is my best single target, but since I have to stand still, it's kind of unreliable. There are situations where I can't use it. Right off the bat, Devouring Arrow seems like it does less damage, uh, at least to a single target, um, because this is 35% weapon damage every time you shoot, no matter what. However, the 70%, it only happens 35% of the time, and it would seem like a piercing arrow, it's not going to hit the same target, but like if you're fighting a boss and it's only the one guy, whenever an ar arrow pierces, it will go out the other side of him, and a lot of times it will turn around and come right back to him. So that uh, 180, uh, I think it's, yeah, 185% weapon damage arrow after the pierce will still impact the same target. So, um, really great, really great. Uh, arrow. So far it's my favorite one, and it looks pretty cool too. That red is really neat. Mass Carnage! And there's nothing they can do about it. Oh yeah! I think we have some champions here. This looks like a very heavily populated area. Plenty of constructs. Of course I want to focus those constructs very first. Start using a little hatred there. Get us some extra gold out of the ruins. Oh man, I have this atrocious pop song stuck in my head. Uh, one of those teen artists, I think her name's something something Jepson. Carly Ray or something weird like that. Oh, it's horrible. It's burning at my soul. Pop demon. Go down, spider. Holy crap. I just want to get to the meaty insides of your friends. As a matter of fact, let me just do a little run by here and let me get this party started. If I keep moving, the constructs can't really hit me. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh no. And it is a quick one. Is it fast? I see vampiric. That is not cool. Oh, and I go down. Moral of the story, walling enemies are bad, and potions won't save you. At least not always. Oh, we got some champions over here, too. That is cool. I am losing Whoa, strength. yes you are. Let's see if we can get some of that strength back. Holy crap. 
I need to really watch the lightning that's crawling out of them towards me. And maybe even focus just a touch. Alright, well there's the champions anyway. I've still got this tiny spider over here that absolutely eats my insides out. Definitely want to get all those pages of blacksmithing. Those are used not only in smithing recipes, but to level up your smith once you get to the harder difficulties. Once you get your smith to a respectable level. 2,000 something? Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm really weary about this walling enemy. He can really be a pain. That protection shrine may help a whole lot. Oh, man. I'm hoping it helps enough. Since the wall's there, and I'm not gonna be able to penetrate penetrate straight to him. Oh, I'm getting him, I'm getting him. There he goes. Sweet! I just met the spider, and this is crazy! Yeah, yeah, that was part of that lyric. That song. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's all over my head. I can feel my soul weakening. Okay, I think for the most part the interesting bits of this little section are done. Just a lot of looting for me to do and some cleanup work. I'm gonna get my mop out. Times are upon us. But do you truly believe that Belial and Asmodan could have engineered these events? There are no others who would put us in such peril. Uh, don't be so sure. Maybe that there are no others That's that could? Machine. Okay, sweet. I think I've made it to my objective here. I don't think this is necessarily the end. I suppose we'll see. Holy crap, 1400 damage. One of that construct's attacks hit me. 1400 damage was the result. The blood of Zoltan Kuhl. So, am I not gonna get a hero? I might not, actually. Go down, rock giant, down! Take all your little imps with you. Alright, this looks uninteresting. Wow, this is interesting though. So I picked up a feral amulet. It gives 70 dexterity and 71 vitality. Those are pretty decent numbers. Now, I'm currently wearing a rare amulet that gives me 77 vitality. So right off the bat, the vitality's lesser. Already makes me not want to consider it. But look at this. The amulet that gives me 70 dexterity actually equates to about 200 less damage than the amulet that gives me 6 to 12 damage. So I was, to I was way off. 6 to 12 damage is way more than 70 dexterity's worth, even. Uh, hold on. I take that back. I just now remembered I have a 26 dexterity gem socketed. So, I don't know. 6 to 12 damage might be comparable to 70 dexterity. That's kind of interesting, though, because that's got a lot more dexterity, and it gives me a lot less damage. Ah, uh, so apparently I found the end. I guess there's not really going to be a notable hero in here, other than, of course, that spider that killed me with one or two shots. So that does it for the shadow lock. Yeah, the shadow lock. Let's go to the unknown depths. Woohoo! There are, like, some crazy-looking rune stones, or maybe tombs or something, just floating in the background. Interesting way to store scrolls and books on a tower, totally separate from the main rampart. A mighty adversary Whoa, this is, is a us. crazy animation. Books go flying off the shelf! And apparently there's a mighty adversary somewhere. What do we got here? Coming into some area where apparently some of my arrows pierced to and killed. Yeah, no, you got a woody for the enchantress. Sure it's okay, buddy, I'll keep corner. your secret. What? Uh, is that the champion? Oh, no. Okay, these these are kind of easy constructs. However, I got some champion constructs coming. They're frost constructs, too. This arrow, when it pierces, it is sick when it comes back and does its damage. It is just redonkulous. Oh, poopy. Oh, man. I do not like this, and I am slowed. I'm going to use a potion. And there's some more slowage. Can we please just take that hero out before he does other nasty things to me? Spiders, please just go away for a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we can, buddy. 
I'm not too eager about it though because that frost is a pain. Wow, these guys have got a lot of HP. Another hero down? I keep calling them heroes as if they're good or something. That's redonkulous. Two more ranged weapons I just found. Both pale in comparison to the damage that my bow does. And apparently redonkulous is my new favorite word. Because I was getting ready to say that my bow does redonkulous damage. Go down, everyone, all you regular creeps. Six enemies killed with one blow. What blow was that? I think I used a cluster arrow somewhere in the middle of that, but I almost think that that was... There's no way that was one of my devouring arrows. It didn't hit six different people, did it? I don't know. I guess if it pierces, it it has a chance to pierce again? I don't know exactly how that works. Strange. Oh, I think we got a hero and or some types of champions. I know they have at least shield and wall. Both are really a pain in the butt. Shield I don't really mind, because I can just keep strafing and eventually be okay. Wall, though, it can get me in a tight spot and potentially kill me. Shielding doesn't really ever help them kill me, it just helps them be really annoying to kill. Wall, though, I'm not careful. Especially if it's one of the heroes who puts you in, like, a box. Puts you uh, in, like, a U-shaped container. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. That shield's gonna come off at some point. Ooh. Ooh, a barbed quiver. What is this? What do we have here? 25 dexterity, not nearly what mine has. 40 vitality, interesting. The same attack speed increase. Some hatred regeneration, hmm. Maximum discipline. So my discipline's only 30. Six maximum discipline is actually a decent bit. And it's got an empty socket. That means I think I could put a gem in it that would get it close to the same amount of dexterity. Hmm, I think we're going to stick with that. It takes my damage down substantially right now, but my life up. I think I might even just sit on it until I can go to town and get the good gem in it. Because I like my damage a whole lot. So I've already noticed that I'm slightly more driven to totally bottom areas out on Nightmare because I've noticed that if you just rush through things um, this is a little bit true on normal more so true on Nightmare I expect it to get more and more true as I go through the greater difficulties um, if you just rush through though you're kind of cheating yourself on both items and experience and uh, the game starts getting tougher the longer you just purely rush straight to the next objective and complete it so the more you start bottoming outside things the stronger you become before having to face the next big challenge the next big boss the next pack I of champion monsters all men become nephilim and ushered in a golden age but my heroic brothers could not accept man's true destiny the shadow lock complete all right let's finish bottoming out i don't think there's a whole lot here probably just a couple chests i can break open um i've kind of been tight on gold lately too just because i've been sinking so much money into uh gyms and keeping my blacksmith at the top level and i've made a couple things recently that always costs a lot of money um you guys don't need to see a couple chests crack open though do you whoa you probably do want to see these champions that are over here though they are ones that could potentially do a lot of damage to me really fast. Uh-oh, they're teleporters. This could get really nasty. Okay, I've got my... I really need to remember the name of this spell. Because I try to talk about it all the time and fail. Shadow Power. That's easy, right? Shadow Power. No, it just doesn't make sense. Why is Shadow Power my vampiric effect? I want to call it, like, Vampire Wings or something because it's animation mainly. Puts little tentacles behind me. Oh, what's this? Big nasty rock giant. Oh, and we still have some constructs. Let's deal with those. Okay, it looks like I did deal with everything else already though too. Cool, cool, easily done. I think I'm ready for the next major bit. And I think I might return to town first, get this uh, new quiver in order and work out a couple the other Lord things. Lies, and before that, even, 
We shall not be taken I off think guard. we might have some storyline. We will be ready for whatever tricks he has prepared. What is this? Realm of Shadow. So is that the next place? Into the Realm of Shadow through the Terminus. I guess so. Uh, before that, town. Well, that costed me quite a bit of money. I was at about 20k, and uh, I just used about 16 of it to de-gym, make some better gyms, and then re-gym. I guess it doesn't take any money to re-gym, but still. Um, and I didn't really get much of a net gain. Uh, note that when you combine gyms, a lot of times you have to put together, uh, say, two gyms that give you, or I'm sorry, say three gyms that give you 10 vitality, just to get a gym that gives you 14 vitality. So... I ended up with some weaker gems slotted and some stronger gems slotted, uh, and overall it wasn't much of a net gain, however I did gain some better gems. So eventually I'll have all really good gems slotted and that'll be best case scenario. Uh, I think I've already mentioned this before, but let me go ahead and say that you can, you can de-slot uh, gems, um, and it's not incredibly expensive. I think it's based on the cost of the gem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is actually. Um, so it's it can get kind of expensive, but it saves both the item and the gym. You get both of them back, and that is that is awesome. That's something new in Diablo 3 from uh, from 2. So let's see about this Realm of Shadow now. What do we have to do in here? This looks freaky. The Horadrum did all this to lock my body away. They Whoa. Must have been Whoa. Shade Stalkers. With me. I bet. You betrayed them all. Of I just saw an almost 3,000 damage crit. They That's nice. Never very imaginative. I don't know how many of these guys there are here, but I'm going to throw a little bit of big damage. For the most part, so far, my arrows are dealing with them before I even really see what I'm dealing with. I can't see them real well anyway, though, so I guess that would help if I could snare a couple of them. They'd sit still for a second. It looks like they're like arms and a head crawling through the ground. Smoky arms and a head at that. Whoa, here we go. And down they go. Still, very, very easy fights. As I fight regular creeps that include no heroes or champions. <laughs> I should probably not talk crap about them. Games tend to like to listen to when you talk crap and dish the pain out to you the second you do. All right. Oh, here we go. Apparently this is uh, Mr. Cool's body, and I didn't clear this out. That makes me want to go back and clear that. I've got the time, too. Definitely wouldn't do it on camera. Um, choices, choices, choices. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be OCD. I'll be back here in a second. Boom! Level 43. So I can't necessarily say that that makes coming over here worth it, but maybe I will bump into something else that will sink the worthiness. Ooh, a new elemental arrow. What do we have here? Fire electrified bolts that allow me to get attacked by enemies while my menus are up. I'm going to put one of those right there because I will hear the sound of it going off. Elemental arrow. All right, so fire electrified bolts that stun enemies for 1.5 seconds. I haven't found a real good home for this elemental arrow. It's so cheap that I may try to work it in. I mean cheap on hatred. Uh, that I may try to work it in sometime, but every time I've used it, it's just really been lackluster. Um, so I think I'm going to skip on that right now. I will probably play with it off camera and see if I can figure anything out about it that is uh, nice. I swear I unlocked something else, but I don't know what it is. I don't have anything saying new. Huh. Okay. Well, don't know what else it was then. Oh, wow. A hero wraith. <coughs> Get out! The frost! He is kind of a pain in the butt. Give me the health! Oh my god, I love shadow power. That is so amazing. Whenever I get a critical with shadow power, I'm getting right now, I'm getting back like seven to 800 health. And I mean, with my total being almost 7,000, that's like one shot is like a tenth of my health. Now, shadow power is really discipline expensive, so that's one downfall to it, but doesn't make it any less awesome when I do use it. Oh, more you boring little creepers. Just go away. Oh my god. I just now... Oh my god. I just now put 
a gem in that yellow quiver I found. I instantly find a quiver with 128 dexterity. The same attack speed increase. I don't get the hatred regeneration. I don't get the maximum discipline. I don't get the chance to stun. That chance to stun is so low, too, that it doesn't matter. But 200 extra damage. I, I have to do that. I'm going to keep that so I can pull the gem out of it. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I think overall that was, that was probably worth it. Um, I now have this whole thing cleared out. And I'm going to go back up here to the objective, just for that quiver. I think that was probably worth it. Maybe the experience, too. Yeah. So let's see what we have to deal with to save what Cool's sort of body. Oh, man. Wow. Try shot, huh? Woohoo! I'm going to have to use a little shadow power here. At least these guys die really, really easy. Oh, get out of it! I was just too slow. I was trying to click over here to move, but I was landing just on him enough to uh, still count as trying to attack. That's what it was reading it as. I was like, no, no, move, move! And it's just like, okay, we'll fire another arrow. That's fantastic. Ooh, a crossbow. Let me compare. 78.7. See, nothing I find is even close to this 125. That is a crazy high amount. And uh, now we've got a cool little body here. You do not trust me. I understand. But we are more alike than you know. We have both tasted what it is to be Nephilim. Join with me, and we can become the masters of this world. Nephilim. I cannot join with someone I cannot trust. Be silent. Ha <laughs> Be silent, cool. You are a petty pest. Doing nothing more than annoying me. I have Cool's body. Then let me begin the ritual. <laughs> but I'm warning you, Cool. You'd better not cross us. For some reason, I just got a mental image of, like, uh, the Kool-Aid guy busting in a wall. By deceit, <laughs> Cool's one. body. I am the least of your concerns. Concentrate, Leah. <laughs> Soon now. Just a bit longer. Just a moment. Almost. Yes. Return to the flesh. We have a Monsieur Zoltan Coup. My blood thunders wow. within me. This fetid air fills my ravaged lungs. I am alive again. You're welcome. Don't forget your part of the deal, Cool. Give us the Soul Stone. Very well. The bargain stands. Quickly, to my sanctum. <laughs> that must have been a fun line to voice act. The bargain stands. Quickly, to my sanctum. Ooh, right in the middle this time. Soulstone chamber. What do we have here? Oh, oh, is that the black soulstone? Is that the black soulstone? I think it is. Oh, oh. At long last, I can complete my life's work. Oh. Will tremble at my power. What is this? Denied. How has this happened? The souls of the dead lords of hell have been absorbed into the stone. Abandon your quest, Nephilim. Your allies seek only to control you. With the power I offer, you and I could rule over all creation. You are mad, Cool. Give me the stone, or I will destroy you. You are mad, Cool, brother. And your guardians are weak. Whoa, I have a feeling that this is bad. I don't know what it is. It looks like it snared me. It was slowing my movement speed. Whoa, I just now used a potion. I am almost dead. I'm going to have to run over here and use shadow power. It is my only hope. My only oh uh, healing orb. There's some shadow power healing too. I've got so many orbs right here. Cool, you don't have a chance. I'm just gonna chill right here. And you know what? If you hit me with something, it's cool. I'm just gonna grab an orb. Matter of fact, I dodged that. What's up? What's up? Oh, holy crap! It's the rocks. I didn't even notice that. Rocks fall from the ceiling and do crazy damage. That is a really good note to I'm take. Well again. 
my arrow actually does really good damage and I can keep moving while I'm using it. Oh boy, get out of the snare. I wonder if I can hit him from over here. I'm not seeing his health go down on any of those shots. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oh, oh that kind of hurt. I think I can just get him. I think I can just get him. Oh, don't kill me, rocks. Holy crap, that was close. I feel like that fireball had a potential to kill me right there at the end of that. That would have been pretty epic, but it would have been an epic sad face. Epic sad panda. Okay, what do we have? A black soul stone. Five oh, lords of hell now tornado. reside within this stone. Five this lords. This was your doing, Adria. Twenty years ago, during the darkening of Tristram, Cain told me of Zoltan Kuhl's profane soul stone. That's hm. why you left me. You went to mark the demon's souls so that they could be drawn into Kuhl's vessel. Yes, my daughter. Mark them. I have sacrificed everything for this. She linked him to the stone? Kuhl didn't even know it. Before I went and killed... Let's see, who did I kill? I guess nobody in, uh, in Act 1. Um, so I guess it's just the past, Lords of Hell. Uh, I probably shouldn't go out this way. I should probably just teleport to town. Yeah, let's just do that instead. And I think we got more dialogue to go through now. That was a lot of intelligence on that crossbow. It's like 106. Yeah, 104. <clears throat> what Excuse shall me. we do after Belial and Asmodan are trapped within the Soul Stone? Then I will shatter it, and the Lords of Hell will be no more. I'm not sure that's going to be the ultimate uh, solution. Shattering We've it. We've got to reach the Emperor. He said he can lead us to Belial. Yes, Belial. Are you certain we can trust the child? We have no choice. But know this. If Belial gets desperate, he will unleash Hell upon Chaldeum. So before we face him, we must evacuate the citizens. The Iron Wolves can help. Of course. Let's yeah, get going. Sure. Why wouldn't they help? Oh, I got two people with me now. I've got Leah and Adria. Well, uh, maybe they're not with me. They actually look like they were but running Lyle ahead has of me. Started his attack on the city. Let's go. A oh, is really? already at the sewers. Hurry. We'll keep you safe. Uh, oh, what's this? What's this? Green meteors. That's no good. Belial is starting to panic, and he tears the city apart to stop us. When the fireballs began falling from the sky, we started evacuating the people. They will be safe here. I'll bring as many as I can find. The Iron Wolves will assist you to the death. I saw people hiding under the carts. Bring them to the sewers. We okay, can't we'll risk do. Our lives on this foolish I'm gonna heroism. try to do distant we must ones go first. To the Emperor immediately. So that I can we just do a round with all of them. Die. And that way I don't have to run out while I have a bunch of them on me. And each person that I save, or collect, I should say, and get back alive. No, the meteor! Woo! I just got the guys through. Um, the more I save, the more gold I'll get. They actually dump gold out. Alright, here's... Whoa, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, I lost some on that. I know I did. Keep the people out of the meteors! Holy crap, I can see their body just turn to... Acidic residue. Okay, there's only one over there I don't really want to even mess with. We're gonna go on this other side. That snake just did 1200 damage to me with one hit. And let's dodge that meteor. Please don't run into it. Hey, let's have some commentary. She has to know that the Emperor isn't the same sweet child she brought to Chaldeum years ago. She has to act. If Chaldeum falls, so do the trade routes. And people will start starving all over the world. We must tear Hakan from his throne. Tear Hakan from his throne? I think it was Belial the first time I saw him when he was saying all kinds of crazy stuff about me being a betrayer and when he made his guards attack. Um, I think that wasn't the Emperor. I think that was Belial. So I'm kind of mystified at why I get some journal piece saying that they need to remove Hakan. Oh, oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. I just lost so many civilians. Get out. Get out. Just go. Just run. Give me all your money as fast as possible. Wow, that was so not worth another 200 gold. I guess I have to collect them all, too. Or, I don't know, at least do something with all of them. I guess I could have had them all just die. Stand them in a meteor. 
I had to collect them all to end that event though. And I am low on gold, so I'm gonna go way out of my way for that 50 over there. To the palace! Chop chop! Use your power just the way I taught you and bring down these gates. Stand yeah. back. I still can't fully control okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. That looks like a way overpowered version of Disintegrate, a wizard spell that I don't think I've gotten yet. Oh, of course they're not actually you. guards or even civilians. They are, but big snaky. Snaky buddies. That's all of them. Minus the buddy part, they're more just Attack. snaky. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Guys, don't sweat it. I'm not even really focusing on using stuff here. I'm just slinging the arrows. And it is totally fine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to spoil this a little bit, but just because I want to chop most of this out. Um, I don't think there's anything interesting in here. Just dodge the little lines of poison and fight as you go. And I've got a little L shape to do. Uh, so I'll see you at the end of the L. Oh, I think that this is actually a special enemy. Blocks our path. Kill him. Do we really have to kill him? We were just wiping illusions out earlier. Give me the AoE of my big arrow. Ah, oh, there's the sorcerer. Yeah, he doesn't like the focus. He did a vortex upon dying? Alright, on down the bridge. Oh, and here are the champions. I just used my cooldown AoE. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Because the Again, mages are daughter. low hit points. I feel so very, very weak. weak. I, Just I like Leah right now. I, can. I think I'm you good on must health. Now. Aw, oh, snap. It is up to yeah. you now. Don't know if Hurry. you can. Snap! I Gate's gone. <laughs> that was almost instant. Oh Praise man. God, you've arrived just in time. Show me the soul stone. You'll get a good look when I trap your miserable soul within it, Belial. Clever, but know this, Nephilim. Asmodan knows of the stone and the power it contains. Even if you defeat me, he will exterminate you and oh. every last one of your misbegotten kind. And there is Belial! Alright, so I'm gonna work my way over to the right side of this. Not necessarily because I need to be there now, but because when the fight goes all the way, I'm gonna want to be more over here than anywhere else. Plus I can kinda use it to filter them through some traps. And if I can, I wanna leave some of these health globes out. If these health globes would just chill and hang out, that would be uh, that would be pretty great. It would be awesome to have those here in just a little bit. Lots and lots and lots of health globes, and I want to keep all my resources full. This world is mine. So that I can really dump them here. Whoa! And I am not gonna get caught by you. Wow, that hurt, actually. Ah! Let's see if I can get right between this here. Looks like it, looks like it, and I'm totally going to the opposite side of where I said I was gonna go. Okay, cool, doesn't matter. Oh wow, it zoomed out some. I hadn't noticed that the first time I did this fight. So I happen to know that uh, being over here avoids his melee attacks. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's just easier to over here. I remember not really getting hit by any melee attacks the first time I did it. It's because I was over here the whole time. I'm glad I've got help. Oh, man. Down I go. All right, so I have to restart the whole fight, but I'm going to cut it until I get back to there. Okay, let's try it again from here. The true vision of the Lord of Hell. Whatever, Belial. You are and you never, you are not and you never were. Is it true, Lord of Hill? You're basically a big fat nothing. Oh my god, except for that slam. That is redonkulous. I need to be on the move when he does that slam so that I can move instantly out of it. I am wounded. Wow, it goes way past where it shows. Please move up, please get the globes. It did not get the globes. 
This guy's a little bit tough. And yet again? I think I'm gonna try chilling out here. I think I might have a little bit more room to maneuver. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And uh, I need to do this immediately. Uh, 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 did not necessarily mean to start it that early, I suppose. Oh no. Using the potion right off. Not pretty. Move, move, move! Can I please get this health globe? Please. I got it, I got it. Ah, okay, this avoids the breath. That's what it is. It does not avoid his melee attacks. Oh, the little pools of greenie. Dodging the pools, dodging the pools. Getting a couple shots off where I feel I can. Dodging the melee, dodging the melee. Fairly well. Finally. Whoa, let's not go. Oh, no. Ooh, I dodged it. At least my character did. Get the globes. And here comes the breath. It looks like that time the breath did get me, so that's not cool. Oh, man. Get another globe if I can. Yeah, I got it too. Sweet. Throw my arrows back up. That is not sweet. If I can just get him. Oh, uh, Belial. Oh, uh, Belial. Go down. The Lord of Lies on Nightmare. Oh, and check it out. The illusion just returns. No problem. We weren't just destroying, basically, the entire top of this palace. We were just, uh, we are just chilling out. Having some fun down here. Up Quickly, here. Leah. Seal Belial's soul within the stone. It is ironic that one as twisted as Zoltan Cool played so great a role in our salvation. Cool Isn't it was ironic? Once a tireless enemy of hell. From his life, let us learn. The longer we fight evil, the more it can corrupt our hearts. <laughs> it's odd. An odd dichotomy, especially coming from an angel who's fought evil for eternity. I guess he might be speaking as a human now. The humans being the go-between, the great mediator. Uh, back to the people at the camp? Yeah, I think so. Getting a little closer, 78 something, still not even anywhere near the damage of my bow. Today battle. is a good day. You have liberated this land and brought low a lord of hell. Enjoy this moment, for tomorrow our war continues. Our war there continues? There is no time for rest. Even now, Asmodan plots our destruction. The Lord of Sin is an uncanny tactician. He'll attack us where he believes we'll least expect it. And where defeat would break our will to resist. You are learning well, Leah. Now you must go to Chaldeum's great library and continue with your uncle's work. <laughs> Chaldeum's great library. I think I'm only at like uh, 43 minutes right now, so I might have time to round. I can be ready to leave at a moment's notice. This quest Let out. me know when you are prepared to go. Yeah, I'm prepared. Let's do this, man. Huh. Bastion's keep, huh? I'm seeing some burning land out there. I wonder if it skipped the video because I've already been through it with this character. The keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered. Fleeing before Asmodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the keep fall, Asmodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. The keep will stand. I will rally its defenders. Light the signal fires and show these soldiers that we are not yet the keep. Ah! Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. Okay, so I think the video should have just played. Let me go, let me go snatch it for you. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. The Black Soul Stone.
makes any sense to me. What am I missing, Uncle? What am I supposed to see? Oh, wow. You're not supposed to be hearing voices from the Black Soul Stone. I will tell you that. Those eye movements were awesome. She went into a trance. This isn't a dream, this is a vision. Whoa. This reminds me of Indiana Jones. <laughs> uh, this does not. I get to fight the dude that crushes mountains. Speak to me, child. Area. The demon's invasion will come from area. Will come? Has come. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, for this episode, anyway. Um, I think I might try to do a couple more with my demon hunter, but I'm going to get antsy and want to play her, so... Um, I'm not sure. The next one I might switch off to another character. Uh, I suppose we'll see. Thanks for watching. See you around. This is Belial, and this is crazy. But here is an arrow. You die, maybe. <laughs>